previously on Lionel Thomas and Friends. Who is on first? Well, what are you asking me for? I'm not asking you, I'm telling you, who is on first? I'm asking you who's on first. That's the man's name. That's whose name? Yes. Well, go ahead and tell me. Who? The guy on first. Who? The first base. Who is on first? Have you got a first baseman on first? Certainly. Then who's playing first? Absolutely. Oh my god! <laughs> not the face! Ah! Well, we were just fine talking about SpongeBob till you opened your mouth, yeah? I must have my cereal! <gasps> I did! I have done a success for the voice transplant! You're young, I'm old, you don't know what it feels like, you worthless piece of poop! I'll show you a worthless piece of poop when I rip out your- It is my professional opinion that now is the time to PANIC! Sir Randall, the door is stuck. We can't get out yet. <gasps> Three, two, one, hit up! What the heck? Don't panic, guys. We mustn't panic. Where's your top hat? He was supposed to be here an hour ago. I found a page offering a free cruise to Hawaii, and I registered it, and now I'm gonna be going on vacation. And I've decided to leave Thomas as controller while I'm gone. Say. What? No! That idiot, I hope he stays in Hawaii forever. Say, Thomas, do you get a lot of children with your looks? Of course! Thank you. What is it? It's a receipt. For 20 tons of dynamite. Who signed it? Thomas. Oh yeah, the entire island's wired. You see... Ever since 2004, when Season 8, or The Change That Ruined Thomas and Friends, has been released, I've been known as the star builder that doesn't let older characters of the show shine. Of course, that ruined me, so I've wanted to become controller for a long time. And now that I've got the power, you all will listen to me, no matter what. And if you all try to take me away from this, I'm not afraid to go down with the ship. You know what they say. If you call me names, then you'll go down. I say we invade on him. Ah! What the heck? Fire two. Oh my God! Ah! Oh, hello. And goodbye. Yeah! Now you all ain't gonna stop me for the dynamite is already wired and under the ground, ready to explode all of you. You idiot! That button activates the punch box! Okay. I'll be back! First Sodor, and then the wall! How did he know of my plan? And now, Act 2 of Lionel Thomas and Friends, The War. This is ridiculous. I've been falling for five minutes straight, and I haven't even hit the ocean yet. Oof. Uh, 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 what's going on here? Where am I? You're in my lair now, Thomas. A place where anyone I want to talk to come. What? Who said that? An old friend, Thomas. Ah! Diesel 10! Why'd you bring me here? Because I want to talk to you. <laughs> <coughs> 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 I need to stop doing that voice. Anyway, I want to talk to you. Oh, great. What do you want this time? I just want to tell you to watch your back. Why should I? Because the diesels will take over this time. And I've got a friend to help me out this time. Well, who is it? You'll find out tomorrow, okay? So the diesels will take over with an attack on you guys, and if that goes well, then we will go into World War Three. 
Oh no! That is shocking! Really? No. Why is it not? Because you've always tried to do that ever since you were introduced into the original Thomas show. And it failed. Miserably. Well, this time I will succeed in this. Oh, because if your so-called friend is helping you out? Exactly. And he's gonna talk to you about it soon. Okay, well, I gotta go. Don't you leave me! Hey! Why not? Because I'm lonely in here. Oh, you're such a wuss! Thomas! Where have you been? Why do you care? He almost tried to kill us! Well, he's still my best friend, and I want to make sure he's okay. I'm fine, Percy. I'm sorry I tried to kill all of you. And let me tell you, I am over that now. So you've finally seen the light, huh? Charlie, what are you talking about? I don't know, it's just some stuff people say. Well, I'm sorry, and it won't happen again. It better, or we'll have to get you some professional help. <laughs> okay. Everyone go do your jobs for the day. What jobs? We never got told what to do. Well, I got a guy that prints papers of jobs for you guys. Well, apparently he didn't tell us our jobs for the day. He's still asleep from playing video games all night, isn't he? <laughs> oh, I love playing Xbox 360 on it online. <laughs> Then just go do your normal jobs. What jobs? The jobs that you're used to! Oh, okay. I'm surrounded by idiots. <sighs> <laughs> ah! Diesel 10! You're certainly a nightmare come true. Quiet, Thomas. My friend's ready to talk to you now. At 4 in the morning? Well, it's 11 a.m. for him. Ugh. Oh, and he wants you to bring a few friends with you. Why? I don't know. Well, who? It doesn't matter. And don't tell them why they have to come. They can find out when they get there. Be quick now. Alright. Hey James, I'm going somewhere awesome. You wanna come? At four in the morning? Where? Just come with me. Okay. Hey Polar Express, me and James are going somewhere awesome. You wanna come? Where? Just come with us. Okay. It better be important since it's at four in the freaking morning. Sir, I have brought them here for you. Very good, Diesel 10. You'll get your money in the mail tomorrow. Who are you? Your own creator, Thomas. <laughs> Trey W. Pro? Yeah, it's me. The guy that created you. Oh, I must have put Diet Sprite in there. Sorry. You know I don't like Diet Sprite! Wait. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna- Oh! Oh! Oh, come on! Come on, man! Now you're not getting any money at all! God, what am I even paying you for? You don't pay me at all. Exactly! Uh, is it your time of the month again? <sighs> now is not my time of the month again. That was last week. So what do you want? Well, Thomas, you know why Diesel 10 brought you here. But the rest of y'all don't. Yeah, why'd you bring us here? Well, it all started about a week ago. <laughs>
Thank you for coming. Yeah, whatever. What do you want? I need your help. With what? With the Diesels taking over. Oh, you mean that plan you've had ever since you were introduced to the original show? And it failed? Yeah, but I thought that if you join me, my plan will finally succeed and start World War III. Forget it. There's no way I'll join you or have any part of this. I'll give you $2,000. What'll we do? We get a whole army of Diesels, attack Sordor first so we don't have any chance of losing, and when they're taken care of, take over the world. Let's do it. And that was pretty much it. Heck, man. If I knew you were gonna create us just to destroy us in every way possible, I'd ditch this show. Why don't you just shoot us if you wanna? Oh, God. I would, but I can't. Why not? Because I'm a big fan of you guys. Okay. And when exactly are you attacking us? I'm not telling. Huh? Well, it's a surprise attack, and if I tell you guys when it happens, then it wouldn't really be a surprise, now would it? Actually, you just told us about the entire thing, so it isn't really a surprise now, is it? Don't you dare question my logic again! Or I'll do more than punch you. Wait, I thought you didn't have a gun! Yeah, don't question me. Oh yeah, you're preparing this while I am writing the movie. No comment. Now Diesel 10, show them to the door. Yes, sir. And that's why you guys haven't seen us in the last four hours. This is just ridiculous for him to do. I know, right? So, what now? I say we have a meeting about this and to form an army. We all meet at the station at the crack of dawn, which is at 6.30 in the morning. Oh, do, do we, we have, have to? to? Yes. Okay. okay. Oh, I hate getting up so early, says every normal person in the world. Too bad, Harry. Alright everyone, I hope you all got here okay. Not me, I had to drag Harry all the way over here. Ugh. Harry, wake up. Harry? Harry? Harry, you lazy idiot, wake up! Ah! No officer, I swear! Uh, 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 what time is it? 6.30 in the morning! Why did you guys wake me up so early? Because we need to form an army to defeat Trey W. Pro at Diesel 10. Really? This early? Yes, this early! Didn't you listen to our conversation yesterday? I don't even remember that. You can't really remember things well in the morning. Anyway, we don't know when they'll attack us and start a war, but I'm assuming it's somewhere around a week. So we need to form an army right now. And I'm hoping Sir Topham Hat will get back from Hawaii, because I really don't like being controller now. Meanwhile... Ah, uh, Hawaii sure is beautiful. Is it now? Who said that? I did. Uh, Diesel 10, how'd you get here? Did you get that free cruise coupon too? Never mind how I got here. Do you really like it here? Why, yes, it's really pretty. I'm glad I got this cruise. So much so that you wanna stay here? What are you saying? If you love it here so much, then why don't you buy your own house and stay here? I can't do that, I have a railway to run. Oh, about that. Thomas has been doing a way better job of being controller than you since you've left. Even better than me? That's what I said, didn't I? Wait, how do you know that? I have my way of knowing things. Forget it! I'm gonna go back to Sodor and that's final. I thought you'd say that. So I decided to plant some bombs in your cruise ship. If you don't stay, I'll blow it up when you're out in the sea. The ship will sink and you'll never be seen again. Alright, fine! I'll stay here. That's more like it. Just let me get my things out of the ship. What an idiot. <laughs> yes, everything's going according to plan. 
And he is going to stay there for the rest of his life, right? Yes, he is. Good. Good. <laughs> oh, by the way, have you found anyone to join our army? Uh, no. You idiot! You were supposed to start finding recruits the other day! Sorry, jeez. Should I find some now? It's getting late. First thing in the morning, you find as many recruits as possible to join our army. Okay. Hey, I found a coupon for a free large pepperoni pizza if you want some. Sure. We'll both have half. Okay. I'll go call them now. Huh. That's happening now. Ah, Hawaii is great. I'm glad I decided to stay here. Boop! Hello, Sir Topham Hat. I see you've actually listened to Diesel 10 and decided to stay there in Hawaii forever. What are you talking about? Let's just say that some stuff will go down. In fact, I was the one who put that offer for the free cruise to there. And now that you're staying there for the rest of your life, then Sodor will have no one to give them orders to, and we'll attack them and start World War III. Who the heck are you? Hey, this is convenient. Hello, ma'am. Oh, hello. Hey! Well, that was easy. Finally, I made it. Hey guys. Hey sir, where were you? It's a long story, you see? So I rushed to an airport, flew here, and got to you guys. Oh, and Thomas, you can stop being controller now. Thank goodness, I was getting sick of it. So, you now find out about Diesel 10 and Trade W Pro, huh? Yeah. We need to form an army to beat them. I'm already taking care of it. Well, that's just great. Keep it up. <coughs> you know, it's times like this that I'm glad I never do anything threatening. Speaking of which, what happened to that dynamite you bought? <coughs> well, uh, I gave it to a friend, and there was a little, uh, incident. What an idiot. Why do we live in such a stupid world? Come in. Hey, Trey. Hey! It's Trey W. Pro in this house. Oh, right, you're a YouTube name. Anyway, me and you are invited to a rape party. You, do you want to come? Oh, you know I'm not into those kind of parties. Fine, I guess you'll miss the greatest part of the year then. Do you really think I care about that, Alex? Do you? Uh, no. I see. Well, when you find out about a party you know I'm interested in, you know where to find me. Okay. Now get out of here! Jeez, he can be such a jerk at some times. Hey! Do you want to go on a once in a lifetime adventure? What? Hey, I found someone for the army. Oh, great. Send him in. So, what am I here for? Well, basically, you're here for the- Oh my god. Diesel 10, what the heck? Why'd you bring Alex here? You said to find anyone to join! Well, I didn't say anything about anyone I know personally. But Alex promised ice cream. Stay out of this, Alex! If you would excuse us for a minute, me and Diesel 10 here need to have a little talk. You said to find anyone to join! Well, I didn't meet anyone I knew personally. I do not want to be risking his life out there. Well, he said that he's good with guns, and he's been in a few BB gun wars. I don't care. I do not want my best friend risking his life out there and possibly die. 
Well, excuse me for dragging your best friend down here. Hey, what did I say about touching me? I'm not touching you. I see a finger right there! I'm not touching you. You know what? Just shut up and get him out of here right now. Oh, he'll go out with a bang. Wow, what a way to kill me off. No! Why did you kill him? Well, you said if I get anyone you don't want, kill them. I never said that! Yeah, you did. When? Last night, don't you remember? Please, take my Hey, Diesel, dead on top of that body! Took you long enough. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm just tired. And thirsty. Oh, hey, I, uh, I got a new rule for me, huh? If you bring in anyone, I don't think it's worth it. Just get them. Are you sure you want to do that? Well, I am your master, aren't I? Yeah. Then do it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to bed. Night. That explains the slurring. And you actually listen to me? Well, you're my master, aren't you? <sighs> Idiot. Get out. But I- Get out right now! And leave me alone. Okay, jeez. I try to see but I'm blinded by the white light I can't remember how, I can't remember why I'm lying here tonight And I can't stand the pain And I can't make it go Try to make a sound, but no one hears me. I'm slipping off the edge, I'm hanging by a thread. I wanna start this over again. So I try to hold on to a time. I just
We have just heard that Trey W. Pro has witnessed his best friend get murdered by Diesel 10, and he got so depressed he attempted to kill himself last night, but resisted against a bullet to the head. And I guess that's a good thing for the show, because if he's dead now, we would've just stopped right there. Stay with us, Sodor. We'll let you know what's happening as it's happening. I'm Jonathan Bailey, and good night. Wow, I never knew he could be that dark. Well, he's lonely all the time. What do you expect? Hey James, how many recruits have you gotten to join our army? Hmm... As of two days ago, 37. A oh, 37?! Shut your trap, fatty. What? I mean... Nothing. And how many do Diesel 10 and Trade W Pro have? Zero. HA! THEY'RE NOT EVEN TRYING! <laughs>
you want it. Sure. To us. So what do you want to do next? <laughs> Where am I? You're in my lair now, Maisie. Why did you bring me here? Well, I have to think of some way to bring you here. Why? Well, you see, me and Diesel 10 here Hi. need to talk to you about something. And what is that? Exactly? Well, basically, uh, we're going to attack Sodor soon, and when we destroy them, we are going to start World War Three. World War Three, yay! And why do you even need me, anyways? Well, when well, Alex came over in here, and he's pretty much dead now. You killed my brother! How dare you! Oh! Oh! Well, you killed my brother, so you deserve something. Let me finish. After that, I was thinking about you, and I thought, hmm, maybe she could be a part of this. Forget it. I don't want any part of this. Oh, okay, then get out. What? I'm out here, sicko. Why did you just let her go? Is it because she's a girl? What? No. Because you know I could always kill her. You do that, and I'll shoot you in the face. Whatever. And pinch you. Okay, I'll do whatever you say. Good. Now, do whatever you can to get anyone to join us. Drag them here if you need to. I do not care. And if you don't even bother to go out the door, I personally will kill you. Okay, I'll go. Come join the Sodor army. If you do, we can make the worst war possible. There be that way. Hey, I'm here to join your army. Oh great! Glad to see someone actually paying attention to what Diesel 10 was saying. Now I only need you to do one simple thing. And what's that? I need you to type this work document to fire nuclear missiles on Sodor. I'll be back in five minutes. <laughs> I'm spamming this, I'm spamming this, I'm spamming this, and this and that. <laughs> now, when I'm done with this, he ain't gonna fire nuclear missiles. He's going to fire stinky shoes. You done? No, I just began. I only needed you to type one word, gosh darn it. But I don't know how to spell it. You don't know how to spell fire? Nope. Why did I hire you? Because I'm as smart as a tomato. This. Your chest. Right now. Hello, sir. I would like to buy all this junk I don't even need. Okay, that will be $24.68. Oh, well, uh, I don't have any money, but what I do have are a specific set of skills. What kind of skills? Well, skills that make me a nightmare for somebody like you. If you don't let me get stuff for free because I'm Thomas the Tank Engine, I will track you down, I will find you, and I will kill you. Pfft, I ain't afraid. Say that again. I am not afraid. Oh, you'll change your mind. With a bullet in your brain. <laughs> wow, I'm a completely pointless character. Yay! Wow. That was not worth wasting the last five hours of my life. Hey, what are you doing? Well, Diesel 10. I'd like to tell you about a little book I just read called Twilight. Ooh, how is it? It freaking sucks! To be honest, I'm not surprised with your opinion. Hey, uh, I tried to find people to join us, but everyone says I'm crazy. Ah, America. Not paying attention to the news of a war. Idiots! Guess we'll just have to attack by ourselves. Well, then I guess it's a good thing I packed a lot of weapons and missiles. What? 
You brought all those extra weapons for us? Uh. It's perfect. We'll attack Sodor tomorrow. Great! Then do you think that I have uh, enough time to go to Taco Bell? Taco Bell? Yes, I read online that it's not healthy to start a war on an empty stomach, let me tell you. <laughs> sure, just make it fast. Okie dokie then. I am hungry. James, we are doing so great at getting an army to beat those two losers. Yeah, I know. Oh wait, my phone just went off. Hey, Diesel10 just posted a Facebook status update. Diesel10 has a Facebook? Doesn't everyone? Good point. Hey, wait a minute. Why are you even friends with him on Facebook? Anyway, it says, Eating at Taco Bell and I'm attacking Sodor tomorrow to start World War Three. He just posts it like that? Wonder what Trade W Pro has to say about that. Oh my god, Diesel10, come on! Oh yes. Well, that was a great meal. Hi, I'm back. Did you enjoy your Taco Bell? Well, the burritos gave me a little diarrhea, but I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> why are you acting like that? Oh, I'll tell you why. Here's a hint. Ah! Why did you post that we're attacking Sodor tomorrow on Facebook? Well, you know about those people who always post Facebook status updates whenever they hear about something or just bore it off their butts? Idiot, it's supposed to be a surprise attack! Hello? Anybody? Oh, take a hint! You know, every time I've done something that you don't expect, you always yell at me like you hate me. Why do you do that? Okay, I'll tell you. You're the worst partner to ever have. I mean, just because you got someone else with you, it doesn't mean you can just sit around and not even bother to do what I say. I mean, do you think that TV and playing video games is the most important to you now? I play video games too, but at least I don't play too much. And by the way, naming your grabber doesn't even make you Jesus Christ. Oh wait a minute, you don't believe in Jesus Christ. Or any religion for that matter, because religion is for idiots. And why the heck do you think you have the right to just kill anyone I knew personally? Your old plans failed twice, which isn't nearly as bad as you being a good guy and calling out engines. Ooh, I have to be a good guy instead of a bad guy not to scare the kids. But I could forgive all of that. All of it, if you weren't so lazy. That's the worst of it, Diesel 10. You're just a big, non-evil, lazy bum. <sighs> we attack at 8 a.m. sharp, so get some freaking rest. What's his problem? Are you all ready to prevent World War 3? Yeah! Are you sure? Yeah! Then let's do this! Hello guys, we are here to- Huh? Uh... Ooh, a random train that's not even been used! <laughs> we Oh crap! Ow! Ow! That hurt. Wait. Hey. Yeah, what's this? What a coward. Let's chase him! Diesel 10, come on! They're going to chase us! Okay, just let me finish playing my 3DS. Uh. Oh, I'm not gonna do anything. Well, then why are you in front of me? Well, I just like to let you know that I'm a fire in my laser. <laughs> wow, I didn't even know he had those powers. <laughs> Make sure he gets home when he's out of the hospital. How'd this happen? He accidentally fell into a fire and got burnt. You're a liar, you starveling jerk! Well, I'm glad he's gone, but what are we gonna do about Diesel 10? 
Oh, I have a special place for him. THE LAVA PIT! I didn't even know you had one of these. Yeah, where'd you get a lava pit, Thomas? It's magic, fatty. Oh, okay then. Hey! So, Diesel 10, it seems you've tried to destroy us again. Which is why I'm telling you to surrender now, or you'll go in the lava. Look, I'm sorry for my actions, okay? You even think to bring your plans for world domination to our island. You almost convinced your top hat to stay in Hawaii forever. You threatened the world with war, slavery, and death. Oh, we've chosen our actions carefully, Diesel 10. Perhaps you should have done the same. This is blasphemy. This is... I can't believe I'm saying this. This is madness! It must be done. Okie dokie then. Madness, you say? This is Sparta! Well, we definitely won't be seeing him again. That's good. Well, let's get ready for the summer bash. Okie dokie! <laughs> Thomas, you must die. No, no, we, we killed you. You fell off the cliff into the lava. No, 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 please don't, please don't, no, 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 no. <laughs> I think I swallowed a bug. The next day, the engines were all busy making plans when silence fell. Sir Topham Hat had very sad news. I'm sorry to tell you all this, but Thomas was killed last night by Diesel 10. What do you mean? He's gone. And where? Ugh! He's dead, you idiot! <whistles> Not anymore! What? But Sir Top Matt just told us that Diesel 10 killed you. Uh, hello? If he destroyed me, then we wouldn't even have a show. I hope that one day you fall in a ditch and die. Well, uh, I got two tickets to go to Disney World. Wanna come? No! Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the Big Lionel Thomas and Friends movie. If you did, be sure to like and favor both parts and share them with all of your friends. It would help me out a lot. There will be bloopers of the movie released soon. Also, be sure to like me on Facebook. The link is on your screen thingy, or the description below. Finally, be sure to subscribe to Trey W Pro for new Thomas videos. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of your summer, and Lionel Thomas and Friends will be back in September. Bye.